Pisces, it's time for our daily get together, you guys. It's Wednesday, today, July 3rd, 2024. Let's look at your tarot cards and see what messages show up for you today, Pisces. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know right now at the time they're viewing this reading? What does Pisces need to know? Pisces, you have the sun at the bottom of the deck. This is Leo energy. The tower and the three of swords. Huh. The sun is coming in. Pisces, again today, I see you guys having a really, really, really good day. Things looking really beautiful, really bright, really good. The tower is here. Something here is changing. And it has to do with your heart feeling broken. Okay? And that, the sun is coming into your life. So, something is becoming... When the sun's out, you can see everything. Um, something's becoming very clear to you, all right? Something that has been hurting you, pain, heartbreak, you're not seeing it the same anymore. It doesn't hurt you anymore. Okay, so the first card you have is the lovers. This is Gemini energy. The world in reverse. I'm going to go back and clarify the cards, but... This is generally the ending of a cycle, the ending of the chapter. I see you choosing love here in this energy. The world is in reverse. The cycle, maybe something you thought was over is not really over. You have a messenger showing up. And this messenger comes with complete emotional fulfillment, complete happiness. This could have already happened. You could already be... Um, sitting in this happy place of the Ten of Cups. This feeling of complete emotional fulfillment, complete happiness. And there's someone here that you love beside you, and it doesn't have to be a romantic partner, but the lovers are here, and it's bringing this happiness. Okay, in the center of your reading, you have the Page of Pentacles. Strength is in reverse. Leo energy. And then you have the Empress. This is Taurus energy. The Knight of Cups. The Five of Cups in reverse. And the Three of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups. Hmm. This is very interesting. What's going on here, Pisces? On the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. I don't feel like your life is easy, Pisces, but... Whatever hasn't been easy for you, it's changing, and it's changing. This is a five, which represents change. It's changing in a good way, all right? Um, I feel like there, there's people here in your energy normally on the five of wands, Cards, you see these people, you know, like in arguments, conflict, you, you can see it in the energy, but here I don't see that. I see people standing, 
standing still and the six of pentacles is in reverse. Some type of energy with the six of pentacles that you've been giving to, you're not, you're not giving into the games anymore. You're not playing the game anymore. You're not giving to it. You're not giving the energy to it. And it's bringing the sun into your life in happiness. It's really looking really, really good here, Pisces. Okay, let's look into the lover's card, your very first card. There's someone here that you love, all right? You're looking over at this person. Um, it's a spiritual connection. It's not a regular connect. It's not just, you know, like, just something that is not that significant to you. This connection is very significant to you. And then you have the Six of Wands. The Magician. And you have the King of Wands. You're looking at the bigger picture here. The Pisces energy, the Hanged Man. And you want this Ten of Cups, Pisces. You want this happiness. You deserve it. I keep seeing these angels, like spirits, a very spiritual energy here. And there's someone here that looks over at you, Pisces, and they, they see you as the magician. And they, this King of Wands, and they wonder how you do what you do. How you accomplish what you accomplish. So you have this this King of Wands here. Um, it's just, I'm seeing the masculine energy here, but don't pay attention to the gender. And they're looking over at you, and you're even in the Six of Wands energy. So there's something here that you're highly recognized for. You stand out in the crowd, you're looked up to, and... There's a person here looking over at these two cards. How does Pisces do it? All right. And it's like they they have like this smile or a smirk on their face. Like they're very, very impressed with your magician energy, with what you do, what you accomplish. You make something look so easy to this person. This person admires you. Tell me why the world is in reverse. So there's something here about, for some reason, a cycle didn't actually close out completely. Tell me why the world is in reverse. Why is this continuing with this person? You have strength, Leo energy. Seeing you being strong together with this person. There's the world in the Six of Swords. Having this person in your world, it, it makes you feel calm. All right, you have the Six of Swords here. And so I'm seeing the two of you pulling together with strength. And it's like you're sitting here in this boat. You may have someone with you. And I see a very strong energy beside you here, Pisces. Someone here rowing the boat. Someone here saying, sit down, relax, I got this. And with the Six of Swords here in your... You know, you are moving into calmer water, but there's these thoughts in your mind. Is this actually, you know, someone that I can trust? Because there's something difficult here in your energy, Pisces, and this person's now 
I could be off on the timeline. This is a general reading, so this is showing up in the recent past for most of you guys. Like this person's in your life and your energy right now. But if not, they're, they're in your energy. But I'm seeing... I'm seeing you choosing to let this person in and to help you is what I'm seeing. And then you have the Knight of Swords showing up. Tell me why the Knight of Swords is here. Nine of Pentacles. There's someone else here. There's a messenger I'm seeing coming towards Pisces. And this message is coming very, very quickly. Whoever this messenger is, Pisces, they may think that you're single or they view you as someone who has money, someone who, someone who has their life together. Because you are you don't really share all of your business as the high priestess. You have things hidden behind the veil. Um, but I feel like this, this energy is coming towards you really, really fast here, Pisces. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving knight in the tar tarot deck. The Chariot is the fastest moving energy in the tarot deck to me. This is Cancer energy, the Chariot. And so someone here is coming coming towards you very, very quickly. And there may be a bit of an argument on your hands, okay? And there you are. It's like you got your back turned to this. You don't want to look at it. And I, I'm really confused here as to what this argument is. So I want to clarify that before we move on. We have the Emperor, this is Aries Energy, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Huh. This may be a boss, a person in a position of power, someone who has money. This person, they, they sneak around, they watch you, they may even drive by your house. They, they, whoever this person is, this person, I feel like this person has money. I feel like this person is a boss, holds a high position, and this is someone who thinks about you. They watch you, but they don't, they do it sneaky, okay? And I, I'm not getting an energy here of this is anything to fear. I just have an energy here of... Someone that may not be happy because you look like you're happy and they see someone here that has come into your life and I don't think this person likes it because <laughs> they, they saw you as being single. They, they kind of have their eye on you here. Tell me why the Ten of Cups is here. <clears throat> kind of what does let me hold on yeah this person regrets like they feel like they should be in the position of this king of wands they should they should have your attention but but you're not interested in this person, whoever this person is that's showing up in your energy right there, Pisces. Tell me what this person wants with Pisces. What do they want? This could be someone that, for someone, this is just a specific message. Someone who feels like you owe them something. Someone that you've been thinking about. Oh, I better pay that guy or girl. Tell me why the Ten of Cups is here. Okay, so you have the Fool, Aries energy, just falling in love. And the Sun, feeling happy. Leo energy with the Sun and the Fool is Aries energy. I see you, I see you letting go and falling in love. And 
whoever this person is in your energy, Pisces, I see a marriage. Um, if you're not married to this person now, I see this turning into a long-term commitment with the Ten of Pentacles. This is not something that is just a fly-by-night energy. You have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, a family here, and the Fool and the Sun. This free feeling where you can walk around and be yourself within this, this happy home, this love. The next card you have is the Page of Pentacles. And I can't help but notice and I, that this Page of Pentacles, they look like they're wearing a mask. I don't know why. They look like they're looking over at your life and how happy you are with the sun. Tell me why the Page of Pentacles is here. This person is the King of Swords. This is someone who, it's, it's someone who stands in some type of position of power in your life in some way or another. All right, but they're very attracted to you, Pisces. But I really don't think you feel the same way about them. And again, this person thinks about you all the time. They think about you a lot. And they're they watch you. They look at they look they're looking at your life from the outside looking in. And I'm picking up jealousy here. Tell me why the Page of Pentacles is here. The Seven of Wands. They're very defensive while they watch. And there it is again, the Knight of Swords. There they are again. They're coming. It's like, I've been, I mean, they're not going to say this, but they're, they're going to come in and they're going to almost like demand something or want something that they, they wouldn't normally act like this if they still thought that you were single, Pisces. They feel like you're pushing them away. And then the next card you have is Strength in the Reverse. Why is Strength in Reverse? It's almost like this person's okay with, with giving to you as long as, or, or leaving room, leaving space without being demanding of something that you owe them except for when they see someone else in your life here there it changes their energy all right so you may not have enough money you may be late the five pentacles is here and strength is in reverse so it's hard times things are difficult i don't know if this is money i don't know what it is but you've been holding back from from this energy or this person um you've been holding back you've been putting them on the back burner and this person's going to show up here it's like they're just waiting waiting for you i feel like you plan on giving this person whatever they want this could be a lawyer <coughs> someone that you owe something to in some form or some way but I feel like you don't have it and you're delaying facing this energy I don't it doesn't have to be money it could be anything but there's this energy around you where it's like you're delaying coming to this person and you know 
talking with them, doing what they, you know, what the agreement is here between you and them. When I look into the future, you're showing up here as an empress. And you're not interested in, in this person. I feel like you have to deal with this person because they hold some type of significant space in your life. It's not love. You're not interested in the love that they want to give you this cup. And they're irritating. They're annoying to you. Tell me why the Empress is here. Tell me why the Empress is here. Okay, so you have the Six of Cups. And you have the Devil. There's something tied to this person's energy, Pisces. Something that you... This is Capricorn energy. There's something here where it's like you have some type of an agreement with this person where where you're here with them because it makes you comfortable in some way with the nine of cups it makes you happy and so with the with the knight of cups energy it's like you approach them and you know you're doing here you know what you need to do to keep this contract going but this person they're you know they're trying to mask their feelings for you trying to stay strong tell me more about the six of cups Why is the Six of Cups here? The Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You guys also have an energy here that, um, there's a third energy here. The Hermit is here. Virgo energy is here. This third energy, this person, they... They're showing up here as an X. This could be a Capricorn. Could be any sign. Um, but this person, they... Boy, they, this person's extremely attracted to you. And they're going back and forth about reaching out. So there's an idea. They have ideas here in their mind. They think about you and in a sexual way a lot actually and they want to offer you this love but these are just thoughts in their mind it's not something that they're that they're putting into action this past energy tell me why the knight of cups is here why is the knight of cups here you have judgment and the two of swords there's something here that you don't see coming and that is, the energy is showing me that there's someone here in the past. This is Aquarius energy that you, you went through the tower moment. You went through a very painful energy with this person. The lovers is here, Gemini energy. Um, there was love here, but something ended suddenly and very painfully. And I'm seeing here with the two of swords, it's like... Um, you are neither here nor there. It's like you've stepped outside of your emotions and you're, um, kind of put this to rest with judgment, but it's coming back up again in your energy. This person wants to approach you. Tell me why the five of cups is in reverse. Cause right here, I actually see someone taking some type of action See, you're not feeling, this five of cups is in reversed. You're not feeling, you know, like you're mourning over this person anymore. It's like you've moved on with your life. I see someone else here in your life that, that makes you very, very happy. And 
I see you. There's no way you're willing to reach out to this person or say anything to them, but it, there is this love here that still exists within this connection that used to be, that you've blindfolded yourself to, um, guarded your heart over. You don't want to look at it. You don't want to see it. Tell me why the Eight of Cups and the Two of Cups is here. And so I really feel like right here in the reading, we have Taurus energy, the Hierophant, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, someone, someone in Hermit mode, Virgo, possibly, wants to send you some type of message here. They're looking at your your pictures here. This person could see you as a hierophant. So they see you as being very spiritual. Um, or they see you as a teacher. So we're going to... They're... Their energy is showing up from the outside looking in. It looks like you have, you know, like you found love here. But it looks like someone that used to be is walking back into your life here. Someone who left is walking back into your life. Someone that you used to love. I feel like you still have, you still have feelings for this person. Tell me why the Eight of Cups is here. Why is this person walking back into Pisces life? Emotionally, this person's already there. We have Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy. The World in Reverse, Unfinished Business. And we have the Page of Wands in Reverse. The moon here, Pisces Cancer energy. This person's not stuck anymore. This person feels sad. This person daydreams about the way things could have been with you, Pisces. And except for, I feel like this person's um, walking back to you because they want to, they, they don't want to live the rest of their life without you, Pisces. So there's a messenger here that's been delayed. And then you have justice. There was something here where there was no justice. Some, some type of truth that was never seen. Tell me why the Two of Cups is here. Why is the Two of Cups here? You have the Queen of Swords. The Nine of Cups and the Devil Capricorn energy again. This person, they may drink a lot. They may have some type of an addiction, okay? But there, I feel like this person, there's a third party showing up in their energy, which may be an ex or someone here saying, out, out, get out, get out, get out the door. All right. And they want their Pisces back. But you guys probably don't want them back. Um, I want you guys to choose number one, number two, or number three. And ask your angels, your guides, a question, you guys. And ask the question out loud if you're able to. If you chose number one, unlikely. Number two, communicate clearly. Number three, success. Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe and share these messages. And remember to go over and meet my daughter, if you haven't yet, at Sagittaro, S-A-G-I-T-A-R-O-T. -T. Um, she's a very good reader. She um, 
It's just getting her channel started and getting into um, getting things going and reading the tarot and stuff. But I love you guys. Take care of you. And we'll meet back here again tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.